seeing him, he's speaking about the sons of Israel. You follow? Yeah. Come on. By the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. What do you want to call it? Galilee of the Gentiles. So the 12 tribes of Israelites at one point in time was called Gentiles. Now let's get more New Testament. First Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 2. We got a New Testament of who the Gentiles are. What is happening is the brother don't like the history that happened amongst us. The nation of Israel. We gon' do it in this name and we gon' glorify it. We ain't gon' sit around. Yeah, we gon' do something. For us to make it to the top, we gotta lose something. Lose something. Esau do my people wrong. Nah, I ain't having it. Nah. Y'all know you're gonna do it. Just keep dragging it. Keep playing with the Lord. You gon' be toe tagging it. Trying to get me on your side, but nah, I ain't bagging it. Brother, listen, calm down. This is our platform. We are here to teach. We understand that you are raising a certain philosophy. You have a certain idea of the Bible. What we're here to tell you, that idea is wrong. Bro, That's what we're here to tell you. Bring it up. Why all of us came out of that same philosophy? Now we born again under Christ. I want to leave a few scriptures with you. Can I do so? Let me read my scripture. No, you call two precepts. That's the last time I gave you, right? 310. Okay, let's go. Galatians 3 verse 10. For as many as are of works of the law are under the curse. For it is written. Stop. Hold on. Read it again. For as many are as for as many are as of the works of the law. Stop. Who's the many that was under the works of the law? Everybody. Everybody's under the law? What scripture says everyone was under the law? Who was to give the law to? Psalms 147 verse 19. Psalms 147. So we're going to shut Christian lights down. That's why my initial statement to you, sir. What's your name, sir? Oh, it's fine. My initial statement to you was your understanding is wrong. I'm going to show you out to the Old Testament, then I'm going to go to the New Testament. Listen good. Psalm chapter 137, verse 19. So the question is, who was the law given to? Who was the word of God given to? Right? You said everybody, that's what the Bible says. He showed his word unto Jacob. What did God do? He showed his word unto Jacob. Read. His statutes and his judgment unto Israel. The Lord commandments was shown to Israel, the 12 tribes. Read, brother. He had not done so with God of what? He had not done so with any nation. What did the Bible just say? He had not done so with any nation. That's a clean, clear cut. Damn. The Bible was not, never given to any other nation. Psalm 78 and verses 5. Let me give you another Old Testament scripture. Then I'm going to give you a New Testament scripture. We're dealing with one point that you lied about. See, you said everybody, you talk to me, sir, he's not talking to you. Come you said everybody, the word of God was given to everyone. The Bible just proved you a liar, right. and you're going to prove it again. Right. Psalms chapter 78, verse 5. Come on. For he established a testimony in Jacob. Here it comes. And appointed a law in Israel. No, a law in everybody. In Israel. A law in Israel. The laws of God was given to the Israelites. That's right. That's it wasn't given to nobody else. It was given to the Israelites. Baruch chapter 3 verses 36. Let's walk this dog a little bit further. Then you'll get a New Testament. Give me uh, Romans 3 until you get a pocket book. Romans 3 verses 1. So now let's go to the New Testament. I show the New Testament, believe it that he still is a liar in the New Testament. Romans 3 and verses 1. Romans chapter 3, verse 1. Why are you playing hopscotch? You want to jump all over? Read it again. Romans chapter 3, verse 1. Here it comes, my brother. What advantage then are the Jews? The Bible says, what advantage then are the Jews? Who are the Jews? The Jews are the Israelites. Do you understand and agree with that? Do you understand and agree that the Jews are the Israelites? Read it again. What advantage then had the Jews? So the Bible is asking, what's the benefit then that the Jews have? Read. And what profit is there of circumcision? Because you'll find people teaching and saying you don't have to get circumcised. Yes, you have to get circumcised because the New Testament is telling us we have to get circumcised. Read it again from the top. What advantage then had the Jews? Here it comes. And what profit is there of circumcision? Here it comes. Much everywhere. No, it ain't much everywhere. Much everywhere. The Bible says there is much profit to getting circumcised and there's much profit towards being a Jew. Watch why it says that. Chiefly, because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. Wait a minute. Chiefly because what? 
were committed the oracles of God. Because unto them the Jews was committed the oracles of God. The oracles of God is the word of God. So the Bible was given to the nation of Israel. Romans chapter 14 verses 11 now. No, we can go to... No, we can go the Who's the Lord on the sin? Who are the Gentiles? Bring it up. Okay, bro, we're going to edify the brother. Romans 14, 11 first, then we're going to show who the Gentiles are. Romans chapter 14, verse 11. For it is written. For it is what? For it is written. This is written in the book of Isaiah, chapter 45. Read. As I live, said the Lord, every knee shall bow to me. As every knee bow to the Lord as yet? No. The other nation is rebellious against God's laws. Right. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. Look what the heathens got going on. The other nation, the Moabites, the uh, Ammonites, the Edomites, the real Gentiles, the heathens. They haven't bowed to the truth of this Bible yet. But the prophecy is one day they will bow to the truth of God. That's the point we're making because, listen, repentance is for Israel. The other nation is going to have to serve us in our kingdom. Let's get who the Gentiles are now. Matthew chapter 4 and verses 15. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel with an update from IUIC TV. We are now offering exclusive content on a monthly subscription. For the first time ever, exclusive content will be available to you for only a dollar ninety-nine monthly fee. That's right, for only a dollar ninety-nine, you'll be able to enjoy all the up-and-coming original content from IUIC: short films, documentaries, TV shows, and more. You don't want to miss this. The exclusive content is not available through the app. You'll need to log on through a browser to begin your subscription. The exclusive content is available now, Israel. It's available now. Let's not waste any time. Log on to IUIC TV and subscribe now. We thank you in advance for all your support and many blessings. Until then, stay healthy, stay faithful, but most of all, let's stay in the spirit. Most high in Christ bless you all. Shalom. Matthew, let's have to find the brother who the Gentiles are. Because you don't know who the Gentiles are. Let's see. Who the Gentiles? What is sin? Who is the law given to? Everybody. You, you have to, you, you're not listening or something, but are you? Or what's happening is the brother's mind is seared with a hot iron. Christianity can't come out to the brother's mind. Let's see who the Gentiles are. Read. Matthew chapter 4, verse 15. Let's see the Gentiles are. The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali by the way of the sea. Because Zebulun and Naphtali are who? Who is Zebulun who is Naphtali? You don't know who Zebulun and Naphtali is. Let's identify the brother. We're going to teach the unlearned. Zebulun and Naphtali are the Israelites. These are sons of Jacob. They are from the 12 tribes of Israel. Read again. Come on, man. The land of Zebulun and, the, and of Naphtali. So we're speaking about Zebulun and Naphtali, meaning we're speaking about the sons of Israel. You follow? Come on. By the way of the sea, beyond Jordan. Yo, man. Beyond Jordan. Here it comes. Galilee of the Gentiles. What do you call Zebulun and Naphtali? Galilee of the Gentiles. So the 12 tribes of Israelites at one point in time was called Gentiles. Right, right. Now let's get more New Testament. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 2. Right, right. We got the New Testament of who the Gentiles are. What is happening is the brother don't know the history that happened amongst us. The nation of Israel, that's because we the teachers thereof. We be asking questions once over the time. But you got to interject questions that is being answered. We deal with Gentiles. Read what you got. Verse Corinthians chapter 12 verse 2. Remember we deal with Gentiles, bro. Listen good. We know that you were Gentiles. Wait, what did it say about the 12 tribes? What did it say? We know that you were Gentiles. Hey, what did it just say? We know that you were Gentiles. So my question to you is, how could somebody want to be a Gentile? Answer the question. Who the Jews? No, you gotta understand. The Jews are of. Let me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Let's explain who the Jews are. Good question. I like your question. Who the Jews are? The Jews are from the southern kingdom of Israel. The southern kingdom of Israel had Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. I'm gonna help you out. Give me um uh Ezra chapter 5, verse 1. Ezra chapter 5 and verse 1. Hold on. We can help the brothers on who the Jews are. We can teach you, brother, who the Jews are. Because you better go and learn. 
Because, listen, my people are destroyed for what? Lack of knowledge. Ignorance is the biggest destruction amongst the black men. No, you're going to get Bible to learn. Ezra, Ezra, come on, man. Ezra, listen, Ezra chapter 5, verse, you ask a question. You're not clear on who the Jews are. You want me to understand it? Yeah, I'm going to give you understanding. Keep your hands on, bro. Yes, I am. I'm going to give you understanding on who the Jews are. Do you understand? Uh, two eighteen. Uh huh. No, what does it say? What's the question? Huh? What does it say? What's the question about it? Well, it says, by one man, sin entered into the world. Right, which was who? Right? By one man. Which was who? I don't know. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening. Um, by one man, sin entered into the world. Death by disobedience, right? Um, all led to condemnation to everyone. Right? By one man's disobedience. Brother, what's the I'm question? Because so you are, I'm telling you, repeat, no, repeat, repeat, hold repeat, hold repeat, hold repeat, hold Listen, you're not a teacher. We're the teacher, sir. You gotta ask questions. Don't make a question long when it's straight to the point. What's your question? One man's disobedience brought sin into the world. What's the question? What's the question? What's your question? Okay, you know what I'm Ezra chapter 5, verse 1. Ezra chapter 5, verse 1. Prophesied unto the who? Unto the Jews. So the Jews that he prophesied to was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Those were the southern kingdom of Israel. What's the problem is, is that Christians do not know the Bible. The Bible is not for all nations. The Bible is written by the Israelites, to the Israelites, and for the Israelites. It spoke, it spoke about what's the ultimate uh, destination for the nations, and that is captivity. That the nation is going to be our captives in the kingdom of heaven. You understand that, brother? If we want eternal life and we want to rule them, we must keep God's laws. All Christian doctrines are going to get shut down out here. But let's clear it up. First Corinthians 12 and 2. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time. Nation time. Strong in the Lord! His word!